What's up? I'm heading out to Cody and Speedy's house to, uh, I believe, use uh, some fun tools such as a jackhammer, sledgehammer, etc. Cody told me to come out and help break some stuff, so here we go. There we go. That's your tractor. That's sick. Whose is that? That's so sick. I'm driving that. I am driving that. Why don't you drive the tractor, bro? All right. When I get my own, I'll let you. Okay. While we're still oh, yeah. neighbors, which everybody around here is amazing. Okay. Tractor. Cody said I'm not allowed to drive the tractor because of the neighbors, but once they get their own tractor, then I will be driving the tractor. What are we doing today? We're destroying stuff. Yes. <laughs> Cody gave me safety equipment this time. Taking this out. Okay. The only thing, like this wall stays. Okay. okay. So we don't want to destroy the wall. After you get like a section out, then they'll come out in full blocks. Okay, okay. And then that'll be easy. Yeah! Oh yeah! Look at that, baby! Can I keep this and hang it up on my wall? You can. You can take that home. Okay. Those are my tiles that I chopped up with the, uh, the jackhammer. Professional jackhammer guy. And guys, I am drenched in sweat for the last few hours with the jackhammer. First time I've ever used a jackhammer. Pretty fun machine. What is this? Is this just dust all over me? Chopped up this whole hallway. Yeah. It was a good workout. Does it look good for the shot? Yeah, it looks good for the shot, but it's shocked in real life. On the red? Yep. Two red, three. We did it. So after my jackhammer extravaganza, Rudy and I went to get tested before practice. It's that time again. After you get tested, you have to wait about 15 minutes for the results. As we were waiting outside with a bunch of other people, my recently punctured, mildly lobotomized brain noticed a bunch of young kids riding that typical little kid German bike with no pedals that you see all the time. So of course I've been in Germany for a while and I've seen these little pedalless bikes all over the place and German kids riding them all over the place. Tiny little German kids who can barely walk but are riding these two wheel bikes where you can kind of balance with your feet and sort of get get used to the the uh, sensation of balancing on two wheels from a very young age. I think it's a great, great invention, but I never like really processed it or th realized like, hey, wh I've actually never seen those in the States. I certainly didn't grow up with them. I, I have no recollection of ever seeing these tiny little balance bikes or little kids riding these tiny little balance bikes. In the States, we use training wheels. So when kids are that age, and they ride bikes, they have two more little wheels, so really it's a four wheel bike. Um, and then once you get old enough, you take off the training wheels and then you have to learn how to balance on two wheels, which I think actually is not as good a system as going on the balance bikes from a very young age. And I thought, well, is it, why don't I see this in the States? Is this actually just like a, a German invention or is it a European thing and not an American thing? What is it? Turns out it is actually a German invention. The first balance bicycle was the dandy horse and was invented by Karl Dreis, the earliest form of a two-wheeler without pedals. Dreis was a German inventor and invented the Laufschmaschine, 
running machine, which was nicknamed the Dandy Horse. This incorporated the two-wheeler principle that is basic to the bicycle and motorcycle and meant the beginning of mechanized personal transport. In 1997, German designer Rolf Mertens developed the first commercially produced Laufrad running bike called the Leica bike. Now, maybe some people do use them. If they do, it's a very small percentage. I've certainly never seen it. I didn't grow up with it. Yeah, I think this is a, a great German invention that you don't see too often in the USA, and we should definitely use it. What's going on in here? Really, okay. Tate? Did you know? Back here? Aha, dang it. Oh yeah, doing the bar. Gotta tape the wrist. Nicholas. Basket, craft. How you doing, bro? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm uh, a little tired, a little hungry, but excited to play football. Finally, Lucas Meyer's gonna practice today. Laziest guy. Last week was the only one time this season you're gonna practice, and I'm calling it right now. I'm known for um, being injured and not practicing, and Lucas was not practicing last week, but I was. And he said that's the only time that I'll be practicing, and he won't. What do you think of that, Coach Dave? Exactly. Practice is over. Time to now enjoy the chicken that I made earlier in the week, and rice, and some salad. Good night. Mm -hmm.